I'm just trying to. Yeah. I kind of knew it was going to be real packed like this because of them having to cancel last year. So. We had to stand in line forever, so we were in line for like an hour, and that's free ball tickets. Yeah, on. so we got all kinds of folks, all kinds of cosplay going on. Let's keep walking. Let's see who we can find. Stuff. There's a green screen kind of thing. selling toys like old fashioned toys and some from the guests that are here and there's authors. Riddler costume right here. Oh, we got a cat woman. A whole bunch of anime stuff here this year. Last year it wasn't as much anime as it was like Marvel and DC stuff, but it seems to be like there's more anime this year. What? Get over here. Come over here. I just want to 
Kimbo. It's brand new. Did you get her to sign it? Yep. She signed it personalized. Sweet. Come here, Mom. I know, baby. Come here. You got a, looks like a beast. It's the worst day ever. It's the coolest day ever. Come here, Lon. Look at some Dragon Ball stuff. Mom, I'm coming. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm losing my fan. What? My fan. My fan. My fan. Oh no, he took it. Otherwise, it would be too easy to laugh at us. 
and uh, it had to be a Gilligan's Island thing, you know, break the fourth wall and just have fun with it. All the, all the actors it seemed like they had a really good chemistry. Everything worked really nicely. Yeah. Everybody works with each other very well. We did. I mean, it was just, it, we, and I gotta tell you, our stunt guys were so awesome. I mean, they, a lot of them went on to just do all these movies, from Spider-Man, I mean, Ben Cook, one of my stunt guys, became Daniel Craig's stunt guy in all the James Bond movies. And uh, John McHappy, who was our uh, director of photography, went on to do all second unit directing on all the Spider-Man movies and Aquaman and all that. I mean, it's amazing that small country had so many people come out and do so many good things. I always liked when Ted Raimi was on, when he was doing stuff with y'all. Ted did some with us. I mean, that was a, in our third year we spun up Xena, and in our fifth year we spun up Young Earth, please. I talked to some people at the table about it, because that show lasted two years and people don't remember it. Um, the actor they booked to play me as a teenager was a very skinny 20 year old Ryan Gosling. Before he became Ryan Gosling. So, but uh, I remember I, the show got canceled for me, it was devastating. And I said, Oh, Ryan, you're a good actor, you'll be fine. I think he's done okay. He's done okay. He's done well for himself. Um, and drama. Yeah. Give us some insight on drama. Um, we were in the last in 2,800 actors all through North America. So I get down to the last three guys. And we signed the contract. It's going to be one of us three. So I walk up the stage. There's a, have you ever been to Universal Studios in California before? Have you ever been there? There's, there's the building that you drive next to as you're driving up into the, to go to the amusement park there. It's this big black building right on the 101 freeway. And we call it the building where actors go to die. <laughs> so so I, I get in there and they got a, they got a theater. It's probably, it's probably like it would be these two sections together. And it's where they screen their movies and TV shows for all the suits and uh, you know, all the men and high, women of high position at Universal. So I got on stage and the seats are down below. And Sam Raimi, if you didn't know, was our tech producer from Evil Dead and everything. Sam was our tech producer. He's there, and there's probably about 75 men and women in there. That you're out that these are the people who decide your fate. And um, so I looked at Sam, and I said, okay, you guys have had me back here seven times now. Nobody ever gives me a direction. You keep giving me the same script to read, and there's nothing. No, we like what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. So I, I did the scene, read it. And then Sam says, okay, we like it. And then he hits the woman next to her and she goes, um, I'm the one that's supposed to ask you to take your shirt off. And I was pretty ripped up back then, if you remember. I was, you know, I'm 210 now, I was 230 back in those days. And uh, so I took my shirt off and there was a, you know, between men and women, there was a couple, oh, okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I put the shirt back on and then Sam says to me, because I have a little man cover, I'm not like Robin Williams, like a bear, but I, I you know, Harry Chester's stomach. And Sam Remy says to me, he goes, if you get the role, would you be willing to shave your stomach and your, your chest? And I looked at Sam and I said, I'm sorry, I thought you wanted a man for this role. And I said, oh, I oh. <laughs> got a big laugh from everybody. And, and then they said, we'll call you, we'll let you know in a couple of days, we'll make a decision. So I take off the next morning, I fly to Vancouver to shoot an episode of The Commish. You guys remember that? With Michael Chiklis? Chiklis is great. So three days into filming, I get a the message, call your manager, right? I call my manager, Beverly, she goes, you got the role, you're gonna be Hercules. So I go back on the set, I look at Chicklist, I said, I don't want any crap from you, I'm half God now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I spent the next, uh, I spent the next two months just beefing up a little bit more, but training with Douglas Wong. Douglas Wong was one of Bruce Lee's original students. This guy was amazing, and we did all kinds of, he, he developed this thing called the White, um, White Lotus Kung Fu stuff. But he taught me all these martial arts, which I've done a little bit before, um, 